Using an Android emulator is a great way to access Android apps on your computer. Many use an emulator for gaming to be able to use their keyboard, mouse, or game controller. You can also run other types of Android apps as well. With so many emulators to choose from, we've come up with a list of the top five Android emulators for your PC. In testing, we looked at the features available, stability, ease of use, and the overall user experience to determine the best. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is CoPlayer, whose main focus is gaming. It allows you to record your gameplay and upload it wherever you want it. It also allows for key mapping to emulate a controller with your keyboard. When you first launch CoPlayer, it will ask which mode that you want. To maximize game performance, select speed mode. If you run into any issues after starting CoPlayer, you can switch to compatible mode later on in settings. Along the left, you have several options. Here at the top, selecting the keyboard icon will let you edit the keys for your keyboard. If you're using a game controller, you can activate it and map it to your preferred layout. To switch from landscape to portrait mode, select the rotate screen icon. You'll also find other options for taking screenshots, recording, and side loading APKs. Like many of the Android emulators, you have full access to the Google Play Store to install apps. Just use caution like you would on your phone or tablet when choosing which apps to install. Unfortunately, on the home screen, the app icons can't be moved. CoPlayer is completely free, but like most emulators, you'll have to deal with the occasional ads. Coming in at number four is Mimu Play. Unlike CoPlayer, which is based on Android KitKat, Mimu software supports apps up to Android Lollipop 5.1. It supports multiple instances to run multiple apps simultaneously, along with support for a mouse, keyboard, and gamepad. In Mimu, all the familiar options show up on the right side of the player. To create multiple instances of the Mimu player for multitasking purposes, select the Multi Mimu icon. In the lower right, click on Create. You can pick either Android 5.1 or 4.4. 5.1 is newer, so most times you'll select that one. Then click on Start, and it will open a new window for Mimu so you can work on more than one task at a time. Mimu Play is free to use and continues to improve with each new update. In at number three is Bluestacks, which is the best known Android emulator and was recently updated to Android Nougat. It has keyboard, mouse, and gamepad support, along with the ability to run multiple apps side by side. This emulator targets gamers. A quick look at their user interface, you'll see that we're in the App Center, which lists recommended apps along with popular, top grossing, and trending in the right pane. Along the top, you can access My Apps, which will show apps that you have installed. If you need assistance, you can go to the Help Center, and to the right of the Help Center is Pika World, which is their in-platform reward currency system where you can redeem points for physical and digital goods, in-app purchases, and can be used to update skins. I personally find Pika World to be more of a nuisance with its constant notifications. Let's go back to my apps. The tabbed interface is a cool feature. When opening an app, it opens in a new tab. This makes it easy to run multiple apps at the same time. Compared to most emulators, Bluestacks is bloated, so it may not run smoothly if you have a PC with lower system specs or an older computer. Anyone can use Bluestacks for free with no limits, but they do charge a fee to remove the ads, which varies depending on your region. At last check here in the United States, the fee was $2 per month. In the runner-up spot at number two is Andy, which is another popular Android emulator that's been around for many years and was also updated recently to Android Nougat. It has a ton of features, including being able to use your phone as a controller. I'll caution you right now when installing Andy that has a history of setting off antivirus or malware security software. At this time, Andy and the others mentioned in this video are completely safe to use. As usual, just be careful when installing apps into the emulators that you only choose the apps that you trust. As you can see, Andy more closely resembles Android with a cleaner looking user interface than the others mentioned with less clutter. Holding down the left clicker on your mouse while in the window, we'll bring up the options to change your wallpaper, 
add widgets, and go into your settings. Going back to the home screen, you have the familiar looking app drawer, which shows you the apps that you have installed. Quite simply, if you've ever used an Android device before, this just may be the easiest Android emulator that you'll ever use. Andy is completely free for personal use. If you run a business, they do have a pro version with plans starting at $12 per month. Coming in at number one is Knox Player. But quite frankly, it was a toss up between Andy and Knox for the number one spot. Even though Knox only has compatibility up to Lollipop 5.1, I found it performed better than most of the other emulators when gaming, while including most of the same features. Knox Player has all the usual features that can be selected from the right side, including shake, keyboard control, a multi-instance manager, a recorder, screenshot tool, and many others. In addition, you can change the theme by selecting the icon that looks like a t-shirt here at the top, with five to choose from. There may be times when an app requires that your device be rooted. In Knox Player, rooting is easy. Select Settings, then check the box next to Root, and save your settings. You'll need to restart Knox Player for the change to take effect. That's all there is to it. Knox Player is completely free. Just like Andy and BlueStacks, it's also available for Mac OS. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. If you use another Android emulator not mentioned that you think others should try out, let me know in the comments. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell notification icon for more software videos and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.